Hey guys, welcome to Microsoft Windows ME. So we're going to take a look at what makes ME terrible. Um, over the years, it's been reported that ME is the worst operating system that Microsoft has ever released. And I'm going to tell you, over using it for the past three days, there are some bugs, there are some issues that still exist in this operating system. Now, this particular version has been up for three days. This particular version has the maximum amount of memory that the system was able to use and also the maximum amount of processors the system was able to use, um, which is two gigs of memory and one core. It's on a 10th gen processor, so you would think it should be fast compared to what was available at the time this was released, which really was at the beginning of the Pentium series. Like, you would probably have your Pentium 1 processors, if not the tail end of your 486 DX processors. Um, so 33 megahertz to 100 megahertz is about the clock speed that these things were designed to run on. In my, at least in my understanding of the operating system and my uh, experience here, it's been bizarre. So functionality. So if we go to like Internet Explorer and we say go to like google.com, And we say search for maybe Microsoft Windows ME. I click on this, and it's obviously not going to load the page because this thing's too old to load the pages. But um, if we click around on things, eventually what will happen, or at least has been happening, is that the entire top part of the taskbar here just disappears. Um, and then if you minimize and you go back, it comes back and it's fine. That seems to be a frequent issue with Internet Explorer on this particular operating system. I also noticed that in the games that I have installed, sometimes they load, sometimes they don't, sometimes they get stuck, and there's really no way to kill the details or the actual task itself. You could kill the process, but you can't kill the, 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 the uh, executable. Um, and because we're still running the older version of the command line, and not CMD, but command, where this is Windows built on DOS versus a DOS emulator built on Windows. And that's a transition that took place, I think, in Windows 2000. Um, so at this point, we don't have the ability to do a task kill. That doesn't exist. Um, so the processes that are running, you can't kill the actual task. And as a result, you end up with stuff that freezes and you can't get out of it without rebooting the system. Now, the bonus is, is because this is Windows on DOS, you could physically pull the plug or hit the power button, shut it off and turn it back on and not have uh, data loss or any errors in the actual operating system. So there was some functionality that existed in the older versions that was better than the newer versions. But at the same time, it's laggy and, and uh, that causes the issues itself. Now that said, there are some cool things that were built into this operating system. Like for instance, Microsoft Windows Movie Maker. Um, this gives you the ability to actually modify and edit clips, which is kind of cool because if it existed today in say your Windows 10 or your Windows 11 environment, you could use it to make your YouTube videos and it would have been something built into the platform to do it. But this is before any of this stuff existed. So obviously they made a product that wasn't really usable for anybody. And now that it is usable, they decided not to release the product with the operating system any longer. Makes sense. That's a, that's a Microsoft trait. Um, the other thing that's in here, which is kind of neat, is that we get the uh, QuickTime player that's built into it. Um, obviously, QuickTime was part of the Apple world, but QuickTime, at the time that the ME operating system was released, was part of the Microsoft Windows um, build. So it actually included the QuickTime player, which was neat. It was definitely something that was nice. We also got Windows Media Player, um, which was not the oldest version, but that, not the newest version. This is probably my favorite version of Windows ME uh, or Windows Media Player, which existed in ME 2000 and XP. Um, the later ones got a little, it's just not as good. Um, and then I think actually now they've completely removed it. As far as the control panel is concerned, uh, we get the ability to tweak the UI, which is cool. So you could change the mouse clicks and delay things as far as click and hold. And there's a lot of options in here that don't really exist or are not really readily available and easy to access in your later operating systems. It's much more in intuitive in the Windows ME operating system. Uh, we also have in the, uh, let's go back into control panel here. Um, we also have in the control panel, uh, add remove programs, but add remove programs is a lot simpler. I mean, if you know what the application is and you want to remove it, you could just remove it without having to have all the additional details. 
And then the Microsoft Windows components in here are called Windows Setup, which gives you the options for all the uh, things that are on the disk or the built-in uh, options into the, the operating system. Something else that's really cool is you have the startup disk option here where you can create startup disks for the system uh, for your backups. Um, and it's all in a really nice menu system. It's a lot more easy to use from an end user perspective, even from a management perspective. You don't have to go through 50 different setups or settings menus to get to it, which is really nice. Um, the operating system, like I said, itself is buggy at times, and it's bizarrely buggy because it's not always when you think it's going to be buggy. Like things that you have run multiple times that should be cached in memory uh, all of a sudden don't work. But then things that you don't use all the time um, that you click on, they run fine. So there's really no rhyme or reason to the issues that exist. Uh, it does have, like I said, I did install some games. I've been playing games on this thing. Um, one of these things is like abduct this, which is actually kind of fun. It's basically you're in a spaceship and you abduct little creatures and things in it. Um, and then try not to be killed by, I guess, the FBI that are shooting at you. But at any rate, um, I, I can't really get anything to freeze right now to show you like the, the weird bugs, but it does seem to occur only on occasion. Um, so... What I will say, though, is that during the installation process, I had installed drivers on this thing in order to get it to work. And the installation process of ME is like the old school version where you need the boot disks, um, you need the CD to load, but you load the boot disk first and then you load the CD. Um, and in the installation process, I needed to find drivers for it. So I was able to use the drivers for Windows XP and they worked great. I don't have any issues with the drivers. None of the drivers are having any errors. They all run. Um, which is actually really nice. It's something that I will point out that at least on the later operating systems of Windows 10 and 11 when they were released, the driver support was terrible on both of those operating systems. And I believe that Windows 11 still to this day the driver support is terrible. So while ME is buggy and it does lag, it's still better than Windows 11 when it comes to driver support. You know. What I'd like you guys to do is, if at all possible, is add some comments into the comment section. Let me know specifically how you've worked with ME and whether or not you've actually had issues with it. And if those issues are the types of issues where you'd be like, yeah, this is not a polished uh, operating system and I know why it's the worst operating system. Or if it's just little buggy stuff. You know, part of me really believes that the reason why this was so poorly received is because Windows 2000 came out right around the same time. And 2000 is worlds better than this, even if we don't look at the stability side and we pay attention more along the lines of just the functionality, the ability to have a task manager when you right click on the uh, task bar, the ability to use the uh, more modern CMD, um, the built in Windows tools, how we transitioned from Microsoft Windows on MS DOS to Windows with a DOS terminal emulated run and running on the operating system. I really think that that's the reason why it gets such poor reviews because while it's not super well polished, it wasn't really well received and it wasn't really uh, maintained very long. So as a result, a lot of the bugs still exist in the operating system and have never been patched. Uh, again, if you're going to run something virtual for the sake of running old school games and things like that, I would still suggest Windows 98 at, uh, SE or Windows 2000 over ME just because it does have some buggy UI uh, issues. Um, but for the most part, I still think in a lot of ways it's better than Windows 11. And I know I'm probably going to get slack for that from you guys in the tech fields that no, 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 Windows 11 is better, but I've been running this for three days without an issue. Um, and I've been running Windows 11 on and off now for the past year and a half, and I always go back to Windows 10 or I go back to Linux or some other system just because of how buggy Windows 11 is. And I don't think I'm alone here because Microsoft recently announced that they're going to continue to do upgrades to the uh, feature packs for Windows 10, at least for the next two years, because of poor adoption of Windows 11. So... Let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. It would really help me out. And... Um, you know, just keep me posted on what it is that you guys have used this for. And do you believe that this is the worst operating system you guys have ever used? And then if so, what have you done to uh, be able to replicate the worst operating system issues? Because I would gladly create another video on this to showcase whatever those uh, causes were to cause the issues that you guys had. Um, but I suspect 
that it's probably environmental. So at any rate, uh, you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Take care now.